Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing an idea which one of you guys submitted in my Discord server so special thanks to the user something else in my um, Discord server for suggesting this and this idea is what if the planets orbited the sun based on their mass so for instance one earth equals one astronomical unit so I saw this I thought well, that could be quite interesting with some of the planets that have um, less than one Earth in mass and ones that have more, how far out they'll go. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and start off with this. So Mercury here is the first object, obviously. So here it is. So for instance, Mercury right here has 0.05 Earths. So that means we're going to need to put its orbit at 0.05 AU. And we're going to we're going to see what sort of chaos will unfold here. So right, where can I do it from AU? Can I, can I even, I should be able to do it. Uh, here we go, semi-major axis. So I'm going to want to do that at, yeah, so 0 0.05. Oh, no, hang on, I wrote that wrong. Uh, 0 0.05, like that. So it'll put Mercury there. So when we kick play, that's going to really uh, gonna really upset Mercury. So yeah, 0 0.05 Earths. So now the distance is 0 0.05 AU. So that's yeah, a lot closer than where it was before. So there we go. Right, now Venus got the cool custom venus here so venus is 0 0.8 moon or 0 0.8 earth sorry so we're going to go ahead and do that with venus I think it'll be quite similar actually we'll actually be pushing venus further away so 0 0.8 so it'll push it a little further away earth is already one au with one mass of earth so that doesn't need changing right how is mars mars will get closer to the sun so earth 0 0.1 au okay so that is gonna that's gonna be interesting 0 0.1 Oh, oh, Mars, you're going to get roasted. Right, so there we go. I'm not going to do it with the any of the asteroid stuff. We will do it with Ceres, though. Ceres will be even closer than Mercury, surely. So, how much does Ceres have, anyway? Uh, that's quite a lot of zeros. Okay, so 0 0.0001. Okay, <laughs> right. So, right, there we go. So, 0 0.0001. Oh, damn. It's inside the sun. It's too close. That's getting destroyed straight away. Right, there we go. Right, Jupiter. How many Earths is Jupiter? That's going to sling. Yeah, 317 Earths. That's going to shoot Jupiter miles out. There we go. Oh, oh dear. That is, um, that's quite a far orbit. I mean, I don't know why it's gone like that, so we're going to have to do this. But that's quite a far away orbit at 300 and... Damn. Oh, the hang of it changed. So, yeah, we want 317 like that there we go that's what it should be so that's farther out than where planet nine is now <laughs> damn okay so moving on to saturn next so saturn will probably also be kicked further out so it could actually make the system more stable by pushing the gas giants out so yeah saturn here is 95 earths so again 95 au there we go that's the same with saturn i think we just need to put more of these to 95 so there we go, that does it. But not nowhere near as far as Jupiter, though. I mean, Saturn's still within, the, I guess, the solar system area. All right, Uranus, how are you doing? So Uranus should... I think Uranus will get closer, will it? Okay, so 14.5. And it yeah, and it's 18.2. So if we go 14.5. It actually makes Uranus a little closer. So maybe it'll warm it up a bit. And then Neptune as well. Neptune should be further away since it's 17. So there we go. Oh, I don't know, Saturn, it will be um, closer, sorry. So 17 AU. There we go. So Neptune is also closing in on the sun as well. So they look like they're in the sort of area where Saturn would be. Actually, never mind. Saturn is closer than this object here. So they're still um, fairly far out. Right, next up is Pluto. So Pluto will definitely be having some changes here. So it'll be closer than Mercury. So 0 0.002. Okay. So for instance, orbital period here. So 0 0.002. So Pluto will be... Inside, was it inside? The, yeah, it is inside. Okay, so Pluto will be destroyed as well. Okay, so is there any point of doing the other ones then? I mean, we could try Eris since it has got more mass. So Eris, for instance, has 0 point, uh, 0 0.02 as well. Okay, so there's no point because Eris will just be inside the sun. What about far? I know these won't weigh anything either. So, okay, so the next object we could do is Planet 9. Which, oh, actually, this is the last object we could do. So 10 Earths. So that will put Planet 9 at only 10 AU. So that will make it within the orbit of uranus so actually making planet nine actually part of the solar system properly now so that's the change now so jupiter is unbelievably far out with its 317 
Mass of Earth, so 317 AU away. Then we have Saturn here with um, 95 masses of Earth, so 95 AU. Then we go much further inwards here with Neptune, Uranus and Planet 9 all here within the... Uh, in between Saturn and Uranus area. And then back to the inner solar system, we all have all the inner planets that have um, changed as well. Mercury and Mars are super close. Venus is a little further out and Earth is the same. So, okay, now moving on, I will save the simulation just in case anything goes wrong. So yeah, we'll just do this. Right, I'll just call it uh, mass equals AU, I guess. So there we go, save that. Right, so there we go, right now, when we click play, I'm pretty sure the two closest planets are going to get a hard time. I mean, Ceres and Pluto are inside the sun here, so they're going to get dissolved immediately. But yeah, all of the other planets are or should be fine. I mean, Mercury should be able to handle it, I think. I mean, look how big the sun is now. Like, if we go ahead and put it on realistic mode here. Go ahead and land on Mercury. Right. Then we go look around. That's quite big. That's a lot bigger than where it was before. So we'll put it to minutes. Or about 59 seconds. We'll put it just one second. Well, yeah, about seven seconds. Fine. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Right. And then we'll just turn trails off as well. So here is Mercury. So we're going to go ahead and click play. And look at that temperature shoot up. It's already gone up into the 200s rather than the 100s. And it's still increasing. So there is that. It probably could start vaporizing. I mean, I don't know. Maybe. So there it is there. Mars as well is warming up. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Venus should cool down a bit. So Venus is about 482. Let's see if that cools down, because I think it will. Earth will be the same. The gas giants we don't really need to check for now. Mercury is in the 300s now. All right, let's just speed up a bit. Watch stuff happen. So you can see now Mercury is increasing a lot more. Put it up to about an hour. Why not? So it's still increasing. It should completely go up to about 1,000, I assume. Maybe even more, but definitely 1,000, I'd say. Mars as well getting uh pretty warmed up there not as bad as mercury though yet yeah, mercury is starting to get into the high 900s now but yeah, you can see yeah that's not gonna last too long i reckon that will go to a thousand it is looks like it's topping out so maybe it will sit just under a thousand so let's keep going here is it gonna keep going oh it may have topped out at 940 there how's mars doing oh mars has got some pretty awesome looking clouds now since it's warmed up so there you go looking good the Martian clouds do actually look good. Maybe I should just add a little bit of water to Mars just so it can get the clouds. It does look pretty good with the clouds, I have to say. And the only way you can get the clouds on it is if you warm it up or you add a tad bit of water to it. But yeah, there you go. So there is Mars. Looking very fine indeed there. So there we go. Right. So 500. So that's now the temperature of what Venus was sort of like. You can see Mercury is glowing hot. It is vaporizing. I just saw some... Uh, but yeah, you can see material is getting released out of Mercury there. So that's not good. Mars should be fine where it is, because Mars is basically now the new Mercury. It's it's a little closer than where the original Mercury was, but it it's obviously a lot hotter as well. So it's probably maybe a mix between Mercury and Venus, since obviously Mars has a bigger atmosphere than Mercury, but nowhere near the size of Venus. I mean, if we look here, uh, atmosphere mass uh, and Earth ATM, 0.0486. I mean, Venus has about 91 Earth mass, so yeah, nowhere near Venus. So it'd probably be more on the Mercury side with slightly more atmosphere. Right, so there are those two. How's Venus doing? So Venus has cooled down into the 400s now. So Venus has got cooled down a little bit. Custom Venus looks very fine, I have to say. But yeah, there it is. So yeah, cooled down slightly. It's probably um, not going to change too much. Venus will still be the uh, hellish landscape. It is not much is going to change there. Mercury, you can see from very far. Can we spot Mercury from Earth now? I mean, in reality, you probably wouldn't be able to spot it because the glare of the sun is too much. But in Universe Sandbox, how, how can we spot Mercury? Yes, you can. You can see it right there. So, yeah, Mercury is now visible since it's warmed up a bit. So, there we go. And I also think this is a special custom Earth. I think that is a modded Earth right there. So, yeah, there we go. Right. So, there we go. So, there's all those guys. So, the inner solar system is completely different. How's, how's Planet 9 doing? Must be nice to get some sunlight here, actually, since Planet 9 is usually in complete darkness. So, yeah, that's sort of, um, yeah, it's still after the distance of Saturn, though. Yeah, that's still outside the orbit of Saturn, I think. Uranus and Neptune, they probably will have warmed up slightly, but not much. So they'd still be the same as before. And obviously, Saturn and Jupiter, they are going to be very, very far and cold. Yeah, they've cooled down to minus 262. Yeah, completely in darkness here. Saturn and Jupiter have just been abandoned at the um, edge of the solar system now, as you can see. Just chilling out here. 
not um, much good luck there. I mean, it seems like the matter due to slightly off, but it's pretty much in the same. nothing. It'd be exactly the same if it was a little different anyway. Just complete darkness there. Obviously, Pluto and Sirius got annihilated, so there's no point in doing any other objects because they'd all just fly into the sun. So, um, yeah, there we go. So I guess we can uh, speed it up, see what the um, solar system looks like now. So, um, oh no, the click play first. There we go. So those are unbelievably close. But yeah, it looks like Mercury has topped out at 940-ish um, degrees it goes. 942, I saw there. So it only takes four days to go around the sun. So a year is every four days. But one day is 58 days still. So yeah, years are traveling way quicker than uh, days there. How's Mars doing? Mars is 24 hours pretty much, isn't it? So um, yeah, there's Mars. 11 days for Mars. So it's still very, very fast. Venus is now 261 days. So there we go. Earth's obviously the same. So there we are. Planet 9's orbit has gone from like 10,000 years to only 31 years now. Uranus is 55 years. Neptune is 70 years. Okay, so now you can live a full year on Neptune on Earth. Because obviously Neptune's year is about 150 years normally, isn't it? So a human can't really live as long as one Neptune year. But now with Neptune closer, people can live um, a whole Neptune year. But anyways, there we are. So Saturn... 926 years and then jupiter at a whopping 5600 years to go around the sun so yeah you won't be any uh jupiter or saturn years old in this version of the solar system there so yeah there we go but yeah overall pretty interesting little um what if video so again a massive thank you to the um person who sent the idea in so yeah that is the user something else in my discord server so obviously if you guys want to join and then send ideas there link to the discord server is in the description and we've actually recently launched a minecraft server for discord users as well so if you want to be a part of that just make sure to join the link in the description and just ask me on discord for that but yeah there we go so um that is it for this video but yeah overall i'd say it's a pretty interesting video of what um what if the planet's um, mass was there um or mass in earth was their distance from the sun so yeah pretty cool stuff how um mars at um yeah, what was it mars was um in mass here so mars was 0.1 earth so that'd be 0.1 au pretty pretty cool um little idea so yeah really really cool indeed and yeah pretty interesting to see how the planets have changed but yeah there we go maybe we could do another sort of thing along the lines of this. maybe we could do like the radius or something equals a certain astronomical unit maybe, maybe something along the lines of that so if anyone wants to submit an idea like that let me know but yeah really really cool idea nonetheless and yeah that is everything guys so make sure you hit that like button subscribe for more helps on journey to 10,000 subscribers because yeah we are we're getting close to that we're about over halfway through 8,000 now so a massive massive thank you for everyone who has helped achieve that and yeah that is pretty much everything guys so uh, make sure you um all have a great day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye